Okay, in this video we're going to be going through 1A, which is a review of algebra. There also might be some concepts that are a little bit new to you, but overall this unit's going to be setting you up for most of the math that we're going to use in this class. So the first thing to remember is that to solve algebra correctly, you have to remember your order of operations, and that would be GEMDAS. So again, what that is, is it's just basically a reminder of when you see an algebra problem, sure, when you see an algebra problem, just a reminder of what to attack first. So it's reminding you attack groupings like parentheses, brackets first, then exponents, then look at multiplication, division, addition, and then subtraction. So again, just a reminder of kind of what to do first in algebra if you're a little confused. The next thing is going to be, in this class, you're going to be reporting your answer as a decimal, not a fraction. Decimal. Um, there'll be a couple exceptions, but when in doubt, uh, decimal, not a fraction. The next thing is the idea of subscripts. So you may or may not have heard that before, but subscripts are basically just something that's tacked on to a variable to add more information to it. Right, you're familiar with variable like x, right? Unknown variable. We're going to look at other stuff in this class. We're going to look at maybe vi. Well, we're going to look at v and then if you had vi, i would be a subscript. And basically what the subscript does, it just adds more information. So if you see something like VI, the V, um, just as an example, V would be velocity. The I would stand for initial. So you have, it's VI would basically stand for initial velocity. So all subscripts are, are a way to add basically more information to your variable. So if you see something like this, um, V times, or VF, it's V subscript F. Right? It's not V times F. So just keep that in mind. You may see some variables with like tiny letters next to them like XF. Just This is one variable. Treat it as one variable. The, the little subscript is just adding more information to it. And the last kind of idea about algebra is when you see the change in something, and we're going to be looking a lot, changes in a lot of different things, that can be represented by a symbol, and that symbol is called delta. So this is the symbol, it's a triangle. So this triangle is delta, that stands for the change in something, and it could be the change in anything. So let's say, for example, you had the change in A, right? You could write that as delta A, or don't, don't say triangle A, but just delta A. And what that stands for, it's the final value minus the initial value. So, again, that could be for anything. So you have change in B, that's delta B, that's the final value of B minus the initial value of B. You have change in X, that's called delta X, it's the final value of X minus the initial value of X. Um, it's, it's basically just a mathematical notation that we're going to use over and over because a lot of times we look at the change in um, a certain variable. So we're going to want just a way to represent that. So keep that in mind when you see uh, delta anything, it's going to be the change in that thing. So again, just a couple, just a couple reminders about algebra, and maybe a couple new kind of ideas, mostly dealing with notation. So again, this is most of the math that you're going to need for this class. A couple other minor things, but this is mostly it. Okay. Um, so these are the notes. We're going to do an example problem to demonstrate kind of about the about the level of algebra you're going to need. It might get a little higher at some points, but this is mostly what you're going to need. So right here I have an example problem and it's asking it gives you three problems and it's asking you to solve for x. So take a couple minutes and see if you can solve this first. I will go over it but just make sure you take a couple minutes, sit down, get as far as you can with these before you see the solution. So just make sure you're solving it. Give it a good attempt. Okay. 
you're not on or you're not watching Vine videos. Okay. So um, I'm going to go through each one of these. So if you were stuck, make sure you're copying it down now. If you're right, that's good. Just double check. So I'm going to go through the first one, solve for x. So we have 2x is equal to 10. So this one's pretty straightforward. It's only one step. What we have to do is divide by 2 on both sides. So we'll get x is equal to 10 over 2, which is 5. So that is the first problem. Let's go to the second one over here. Um, again, solving for x. This one's a little bit, little bit trickier. So see what we can do. We could probably combine this right here, this multiplication, to make it simpler. So we're going to do that. So we'll have 8x is equal to 9 plus 5 times 3x would give you 15x. So the next thing to do is we want the x on, or we want the x basically on one side. So what we're going to do is subtract, and we'll subtract the 15x minus 15x. So that's going to equal 9, or in mind that equals a little confusing. So just subtract 15x. So we're going to get negative 7x is equal to 9, and then this was removed on the right side. So final step, we just have x is equal to 9, and then we're going to divide both sides by negative 7. So we have x is equal to negative 9 sevenths, and again, remember, decimals, not fractions, unless otherwise stated. So negative 9 sevenths, I punch that into a calculator, that is negative 1.29 approximately. So that is the answer there. And the last one over here, it looks a little bit different, but same ideas. So we have 8, or x over 8 is equal to 2.5 plus 1.5. We're going to take x divided by 8 equal to, um, on this side, we can just combine them, basically. We can just add them. So 2.5 plus 1.5, that is 4. Yep. Four, the four, um, and then we're just going to multiply both sides by eight to get it alone. So we're going to get x is equal to four times eight, and again that is equal to thirty-two. So um, that was the notes. That was the problems. So make sure you have all the notes down. Make sure you have these correct answers written down if you were not correct the first time. And that is it for now.